Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how I installed this soffit. You can see right up here. Um, they're 16 foot long pieces. They're um, 21 inches wide. And I'm going to show you how I installed all this soffit um, by myself. And uh, obviously this video is for entertainment purposes only. But it, you can do something like that by yourself, and let me show you how I did it. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. The first thing I do is install these three brackets up here, up under the soffit. And then I, I use those brackets to slide the soffit material up over the top of them. And I blue taped the top of these brackets to keep it from scratching the siding. Now, I did make a mistake in the beginning. I used too short of screws, and you saw that one fall off. I was using some Craig pocket screws with these, and, it, and they were just too short. Um, I did end up getting this piece up there okay, though. But um, yeah, in the future, I used longer screws. Now you can see these pieces are big. They're 21 inches wide by 16 feet long. They come with the vents already in them, so which is kind of nice. I then use a um, Hitachi uh, coil nailer, and I'll put the model number right here. And I've had this coil nailer for, it seems like a lot of my tools are 20, 30 years old. But right here you can see I'm going up and I'm using longer screws this time. And I basically just keep going down the side of this thing um, and I'm moving the scaffolding as I'm going. So I'm, I'm using the scaffolding to kind of um, be the stage for sliding the, the soffit material up onto these brackets. And I got to the point where I only needed two, two brackets was enough. So I basically spread them out a certain distance, screw these up on the wall and um, and then slide my soffit material up on there. It's not easy. You're going up and down the ladder a lot of times, but you can do it by yourself. Here you can see I'm bringing the 16 foot. The nice thing about this particular material is you can, it'll flex. And even though it's 16 feet long, it takes a lot to break it. So it does have some flexibility. Right here you can see I line it up and I'm fishing it above these brackets. And once I put some longer screws in there, I had a lot less trouble. They held, they held a lot nicer. Now this, this, the back of the garage, it's angled, so it's a little tricky to get these things. What I end up doing is um, I figured out that once I get it to where it needs to be, I can put some little blocks underneath the, the, the wall side and wedge the material up and then put a screw in it. And then I could go down the line and, and make sure it fitted really nice. In order to get the seams lined up really nice, uh, before I start nailing it, I'm using these little blocks. And what I do is I'm basically, because it's sloped roof right there, I put these blocks up high. And that keeps all the soffit material flush with the flush with the framing up on the top, and then it lines up my seam a lot better. Here's a little better view of what I got going on. So you can see the little block where I'm keeping it up there, and then what I'm what I'm doing is trying to keep these seams nice and tight. Um, it's good to have a little bit of a gap, but you don't need, you know. You want it to look good and be tight. I think there's probably a sixteenth of an inch or something, pretty small. Right there you can see the Hitachi coil nailer. And I basically go through, find the studs and put three nails in there. And then what I do is I also paint them as I go so that I'm, I'm not having to come back and, and do that. Because when you're moving all this, you want to do everything you can as you go. And then, move, and then basically move your scaffolding down the road. The other thing I do is once I get things nailed, I basically 
before I move anything, I need to take off the block and the, the little support bracket so that those can get moved down the road also. It's not easy by yourself, but, but like I said, this can be done by yourself. And um, I think the soffit is the, probably the hardest thing. Um, the rest is pretty easy. I think, well, I haven't started on the rest of it, but my experience is that these soffits are really underrated. They take, they take most of the work, especially if you're using these long pieces. Um, you can see the vents right there. The, the, I kind of, I like this style. It comes with the pre-made vents. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice material. It's got a 30 year finish with a wood texture on it. There I am touching up all the little nail heads. This color is called onyx. It's almost like a black. Um, I thought it would go good with the gray. I've got the metal trim on the bottom and the, you can see the gray wainscot right there. So basically I got two pieces in and I'm gonna install this last piece right here. Up the ladder, put on the bracket. You kind of get used to just, uh, you know, in the beginning when you're up on the ladder, you, you're a little slow, but as you get rolling, you get, you get more confident and better at it. And you just need to make sure that you're real careful, keep your ladder nice and secure. And um, obviously this video is for entertainment purposes only, but um, yeah. Right here you can see I put one bracket on, I'm gonna put this other one on, up and down, up and down. So basically I have, this building is 60 feet by 34 feet, so I have 187 or, I have quite a few feet of this to put on. I'm kind of estimating that it'll, I basically got down the back of this house. Um, it took quite a few hours, but I'm thinking that I can go around the whole building it gets higher on the front of the building. The back of the building right here is 12 feet tall, but in the front of the building, it's 18 feet tall. So that'll be a little bit, a little bit more climbing and stuff. But um, right here, I'm measuring the last piece so I can make a special cut right here. Here you can see my little workbench with my uh, tough built saw horses and my Hercules saw. And this has been working actually really well. Um, I can fit a 16 foot piece on here really easy. And uh, it's at a nice, it, I, I built it the same height as my um, Hercules chop saw stand so that it'll, it's flush with the top of the stand. And I'll show you in a different video how I, how I actually got the Hercules saw to cut a 16 inch wide board. Right here I'm cutting the soffit, making a custom piece and I cross cut this piece using my just regular worm drive saw and basically what I did was I set up a um, saw guide for my, I have a little Makita finish saw and you really need to wear goggles because this stuff shoots up a lot of stuff and I've got a guide on this and basically it cuts a perfect nice straight piece and um, once you're done once you're done cutting it, you need to paint all these edges with their special paint. So that that takes a little time. You got to make sure and cut and paint these and then let them dry before you try to put them up there. So right here, I'm going to get the paint out and clean this all up, paint it, and then I'll put it up there. Once I get all the scaffolding moved to its location and I got my brackets up there, it was time to bring the piece up. And you can see I've got that little foam stuff there to keep from scratching it. And I check my scaffolding, see how it's feeling. Needs a little bit of adjusting. I tend to lean them towards the building a little bit. I make sure they're leveled and then I'll, I'll move them towards the building a little bit. Now this piece is the last piece on this corner and it's a little shorter. I think it's 12, right around 12 feet, I think. And basically, I just feed this thing through there on top of my brackets. So, you know, it's easier. It, it, it would be easier if you had two guys. You probably wouldn't have to put these brackets up there. But this still worked out okay. And um, 
It'll take me a little longer to do this by myself, but it will. Um, you can see right there I'm putting on those little wood blocks. I found out that when you're doing an angle like this, that helped out a lot, actually. The biggest thing is the seam. Make sure the seam is nice and tight. Set up a little block there to hold it up there. Up and down the ladder. I'll actually be get glad when this siding or this, yeah, the siding and soffit is done. This is a big project to do by myself. You know, back when I had my construction company, shit, I'd have probably eight guys doing this job and finish it in a week. But it'll uh, it'll take me probably maybe a month and a half to do this by myself. Right there, you can see I'm nailing off the, the last piece of the back of the shop. And I'll go through there and paint it all. And yeah, so you can do the soffit by yourself. Okay, how to install a soffit by yourself. So there it is. The whole back of my garage soffit is installed. And um, yeah. Quite a job, actually. Um, no easy task, but it can be done. So if you are by yourself, like I am, um, it is possible to do that by yourself. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the soffit because that's going to take me probably another two weeks, the rate I'm going. Um, but anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for